Praise God for Sarah Amy. I hope we learned something from what Sarah Amy had shared to us. She was talking a lot about calling. Did you ask yourself once, what is my calling? I just would like to read this quote about calling. Because we need sometimes to go back to the basics before we can fully understand what our calling is. It says, the biggest obstacle to fulfilling our calling is that we often misidentify what our first calling is. Our highest calling is that what we really is. Our highest calling is, is not what we usually think. It's not a job we do, a title we earn, or even a check we write. Our first calling is to respond to Jesus and to go to Him. Just like Bartimaeus in Mark chapter 10 did. Jesus called him and he when he go to near Jesus. We are called to come close to Jesus Christ. Because when we do, Jesus draws us near and calls us his brothers and sisters. Stated in Matthew chapter 12, verse 15. He, when we go near Jesus, he erases the divide between our humanity and his divinity by calling us friends. While our faith leads us to accomplish good works, our first and highest calling is simply to be near Jesus. Because when we are, everything else, all the doings, begins to fall into place. So we need, let us all remember that our first and highest calling is to be near Jesus. And when we are near Jesus, that's when we hear him telling us what is our specific calling is. The calling of preaching, the calling of teaching, the calling of music ministry, the calling of serving, it won't happen until you are near Jesus. So let's respond to that first calling. And then the calling of, Pastor mentioned about driving out demons, healing the sick, it will come into place when you are near Jesus. But unless, until that happens, we can just wonder what is my calling. Again, I would like to emphasize, our first calling is to go near Jesus Christ. Then that, the specific calling that is, that God had wanted, wanted us to do, as his children will come into place. That's why many people would ask, what is my calling? And they can identify their calling because they are keeping Jesus at arm's length. They are not near enough. So the challenge for us as we go home is to respond to God's calling. And the first thing we do to respond to that calling is to go near Jesus Christ. And I'm going to pray for the message that we are going this afternoon. Can I ask everybody to please stand? And I encourage everyone to check your heart. I will ask yourself, have I responded to that calling? Have I responded to what Jesus told me to do? God is knocking at your hearts. God is asking you to come close to Him and respond to His calling. Shall we bow our heads and pray? Father God, once again, you have spoken to us this afternoon. Father God, it is clear that you have called us. And our calling does not end in our salvation. There is far more things to do after salvation to this Christ. I am just reminded of the song. The first of the song that says, From across the street or around the world, the mission is still the same. And that is to proclaim and live the truth in Jesus' name. Father God, as we respond to this calling, as we proclaim as we, and as we live the truth, Father God, we ask the Holy Spirit to fill us, to make us effective in doing the task that you, are, that you are giving to us. Lord, once again, we cannot do this on our own. We cannot do this in our own strength. But you have promised in your word. Your word clearly says 
that the Holy Spirit will be with us every step of the way. Father God, as we glorify and as we honor your name through our lives, teach us to go closer to you. Teach us to be near you so that we can hear you clearly. Lord God, the word that we have heard this afternoon, Lord, I pray that this will be guarded in our hearts. Seal this in our lives, Father God, so that we can live this truth. We can bring this at home. We can bring this at our workplace. That Jesus will be saying in us that we will be powerful in our Christian life because the Holy Spirit is in us and, the, and Jesus Christ is our example. Father God, as we live our lives, may we continue to shine your light that other people would see that you are in us and you, we are your children. Make us worthy, Father God, through the blood of Jesus Christ. Make us worthy to be called your children and your friends. And make us worthy to proclaim your word and to live your truth. We praise you, we honor you, and once again, we would like to say with boldness that Jesus is the Lord of our lives. Amen. All glory and honor belongs to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Can I ask those who exhort the offer? Time for our um, Tyson offering, Paul. Whoever wants to give, we will um, be free to give. And but if you're registered, then apply to you. Know, Be as well. Yes, uh, as we remain standing, it's just uh, just would like to pray for um, before we go out. So, um, Father God in heaven, Lord, thank you for today. Lord, thank you for the revelation and learning that you've given us through, through, through our pastor. Lord God, thank you for letting us know that there is a purpose and a calling in our lives. But Lord God, that you will use us mightily wherever we go, whatever we do. Lord, thank you for reminding us that we are blessed. And you will bless, keep blessing us, Lord God. And Lord, as we, you know, enter this week again, may your protection be upon us as we go to work, as we uh, get involved with the world, Lord. Uh, give us that strength, Lord, to, to be fair with our faith. Lord God, uh, apply the blood of Christ in every one of us in here, Lord God, that your protection your blessing will be upon us and we will be a good example of, you know, a Christian that is that has a purpose, that has a calling. Help us, Lord, to, have, uh, to know that we have the authority, Lord. We have the power in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, to, to face all the trials and circumstances we're going to face this week. So, Lord God, thank you so much. Thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you for all the uh, learning that we've learned today. And um, may you just be with us all for this week, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. All right, I hope everyone's blessed with the, um, today's word. Now we're just going to sing the victory song, and if you all could go around and hug and shake each other's hands. <clears throat> as we start the song, you can start as well. <laughs> Let me shine.
Do it for 